Right, we're on to our last sort of double bag, Siamese bag. I, I don't know. Let's see if I can hold them all together. Oh my God. Oh, oh, OMG. So yeah, welcome back to a Coins to Collect video and today, two pound coin hunt. Um, I'm in a bit of a rush today. Should have filmed one of these bags last night at least, but I didn't. So I've got to film these two bags and then get all this back into the bank ASAP. Cool, so last time we found a Commonwealth Scotland. Yes. We're still missing England, Northern Ireland and Wales, but hopefully that won't be long now. We're missing the Olympic Centenary and the Rio Handover Olympic. We have everything else up to the Great Fire of London. And uh, you know what, I really could do with finding some more uh, territory two pound coins. Uh, they're a bit thin on the ground. And I've got some oddities at the back of the book. Right, anyway, enough of that. Um, I got these two bags two weeks, no. I got these bags one week apart, but they've got the same date stamp on them, and the time is one minute apart. So one minute, one week apart from each other, whatever. That's the lowest time, so we'll start with that one. Right, okay, let's give this a quick count. One, two, three. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And is that a mashed up 24 and 25? Looks like the two bags have been hot pressed or however, however you make plastic bags. And the two lots of coins have fallen into one bag. So that's. 24 and 25, should we leave that till last? Let's do that last, all right, so first bag. Hope my microphone's plugged in properly today. Last couple of hunts, it was, uh, wasn't was quite pushed in properly and only had the sound on the left channel. Fingers crossed, it's all working fine today. Anyway, first on top, of course, we have technologies. Not worried about technologies, not really looking for anything for technologies. I like seeing the shiny 2015s, but really, they're just shiny. They're just sparkly. There's nothing really there I want. So, first commemorative is St Paul's, or the V-Day celebrations at St Paul's. There we go, very nice design, very common unfortunately. Right. Second bag. Yay! What's that? Um, third bag in, and we got one for the book. <laughs> that is Olympic Centenary. Oh, fantastic. Very nice, the first one of those I've ever found in a hunt. Wow. 1908 to 2008. That is a cool coin. Very nice, I am chuffed to find that. Brilliant, woohoo! Now we need to find three Commonwealths. A Rio handover and we're all done. On top of that pile though is a Lord Kitchener. There we go, part of the Armed Forces Centenary Coins from World War One. Very nice. All right, come on, come on. Commonwealth luck, today is your day to shine. But not in that bag. <laughs> Uh, quite a battered Brunel's portrait. There we go, very common. Part of a little mini set. We'll probably find the other one. Oh, very nice, a bit of Navy Centenary. There we go. No flag error on that. 
And it's not as shiny as the ones we've been finding either, is it? I think that's been in circulation a bit longer than the uh, more recent ones we've been finding. A very nice find. We'll put that on the bottom row. Oh, the act of the abolition of slave trade. Quite a nice design, I, I, I do like that design. It's nice and simple. Simple, simple, simple. Nothing too fussy and complicated. Charles Dickens, very common coin. We'll probably find quite a few of him. I should imagine we will. Oh, very nice. Shakespeare's Tragedies. That is a nice condition one as well. Now I don't find too many of these in my hunts. I found a few, but that's quite cool to find that one. 2016. What a piece of work is a man. Some of these have got errors where they've got the army centenary uh, writing around the outside um, instead of the uh, obviously the Shakespeare writing. And uh, they're selling for quite a bit on eBay apparently. So it'd be nice to find one of them, one of those uh, error coins. But that is a very cool coin nevertheless. I think planes, I tell you what, in this order, planes, ships, and then number one is skulls on a coin. <laughs> they are the best, aren't they? I mean, ships always look great on coins, but skulls, oh, that is just too cool. Too cool. couple of very cool London coins. We have the Great Fire of London there on the right of course and we have St Paul's VE Day celebrations. That is still one of my favourite coins that Great Fire of London. Such a great design. So good. Oh got a shiny one there. What's that one? Oh it's a very shiny Oh, it's a bit beaten up, but it, it's got, it's really shiny. That's the army centenary. Uh, shoulder to shoulder, as some people call it. Very nice. That's 2016, as well as the Shakespeare. I'll have to check, see if that's better than the one in my album. For king and country. There we go. I'm going to put that on the uh, bottom row, actually. Oh! Another tragedy, but it's not a tragedy to find it. <laughs> We've got another Charles Dickens, but under that, one of the coolest two pound coins ever made. We have a 2010 Florence Nightingale, which is a great design. It is spectacular little sort of starburst design in the background which apparently is some sort of pie chart because she was one of the first pioneer of using pie charts so very fancy common but cool very cool Robert Burns or Rabbi Burns cool little coin I wish I knew what it said actually. I don't know if I can read that. Is it old Lang Syne? Yeah, should old acquaintance be forgot on the uh, edge inscription? Cool. Uh, we'll put it up there, another row, start a new row. Oh, dropping them. Oh, Trinity House, very nice. Again, a nice, clean, simple design which uh, I always appreciate. Very common, unfortunately. Ah, oh, very nice. Shakespeare's history to finish that bag. Very cool. Do you think we could find a comedies <laughs> to get a Shakespeare mini set? That's cool. Nice one. Chuffed with that. There 
There we go. The Act of Union coin. The union between Scotland and England. Quite a cool puzzle design there. I'm liking that. Right, we're on to our last sort of double bag, Siamese bag. I, I don't know what to call it. But there we go, we'll finish on this one. Let's see if I can hold them all together. Oh my God! Oh, oh, OMG. Did you see what I saw? I'm not talking about the Navy Centenary, I'm talking about that little fella right there. Look at that one. That is Rio handover. Oh my God. I'll tell you what, let's get this Navy Centenary. See that? That is a newer, shinier Navy Centenary. And then if I can hold this one up, the one on the right, the one on the right isn't as shiny. I think that has been in circulation a long time. And then this is one of those newer generation ones. The ones that have recently been added into circulation because there's been that demand for them. So yeah, but I'm happy to see both of those. Okay, all right, what's, what's on top? Get these out of the way. Uh, Rio handover, that's all the Olympic coins then. I finally got all of them. Just gonna go through the rest of these. So if you like this video, maybe you wanna go and subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video, of course. If you hit that notification bell, you'll never miss another episode because they are getting quite exciting now, my videos. <laughs> We've got a Brunel's Arches. There you go, completes the little Brunel mini set. Uh, I'll put that above that one. And then we had a uh, another abolition of the slave trade. Very cool. I don't know if Star Find is the the Centenary Olympics or this one, which is the 2016. Is it 2016? Oh, it's 2012. 2012. This coin. And of course, it is the. London 2012 at the top of the coin there, and Rio 2016 at the bottom of the coin where my thumb is. So that is the Rio handover coin, and that is a spectacular design as well. I like that. The Union flag on the right, and is it touching or just sort of changing into the Brazilian flag on the left? Up the top there, it's got the same Olympic logo as well. London 2012 logo. Very nice. It's a bit grubby, <laughs> but I mustn't grumble. Yeah, that'll go. A very nice. Pride of place in my book. Let's do that. Let's put both these Olympics into the book. So it just leaves the Commonwealths now to finish off, and we have everything. Which way up does that go that way? If you want to know which way a coin goes up, you just have to look at the obverse. <laughs> which way is the queen's head? And then you know which way the coin should go up. Very nice. And then the Rio handover. Again, let's have a look at the queenie. And we get the Rio in. I'm so happy to get those two. Oh, I couldn't tell you. I mean, those two are equivalent to one Commonwealth, I think. Very nice. So let's have another little look at the book. We still missing England, Northern Ireland and Wales for the Commonwealth Games coins. We have a full page there <laughs> from Brunel's Arches. And that's a very nice Brunel's Arches, actually. I forget to look at that. That's a very good condition one. Anyway, Brunel's Arches through the Olympics, King James Bible, Mary Rose and ending on the Rio Olympics handover coin. And then on the next full page, <laughs> Underground Train, Golden Guinea, Magna Carta, Navy Centenary, all the Shakespeare's coins to finish there on the bottom row. And then we have, well, it's not quite a full page, but there is no more coins to add. 
So come on, Royal Mint, let's get some more of these two pound coins into circulation, please. Army Centenary and the Great Fire of London. So there we go. Commonwealth luck, we need you. We need more Commonwealth luck. There we go, right. I'm gonna leave all these in place. I'm gonna crack on with the next video, but you'll see part two, same time next week. Thanks for hanging out. Remember to go and do all that subscribe and like and notification bell and all those bits and bobs. But until part two of this hunt for next week, keep looking out for those coins to collect. Yay!